Hey everyone, this is Terry Honeycutt with My Photo Borders. Today I have a new design I want to go over. This is the volleyball game day design that we put together. We do have a couple designs already for football and we plan to do some other sports. So let's just go over this real quick so that you understand how to use this design. Um, so basically we have the text layers here at the top, first three layers, and then we have the text box color. And to change the logos on the volleyballs, you would just start here. I'm going to open this uh, folder here, and this is the left volleyball. And if you notice here, this says change left logo here. So basically, these are smart objects, um, and all you'll do is just double click right here on the uh, smart object thumbnail. So let's start by double clicking this and open up our logo. And then, as you see here, this is our logo. So what you want to do is just hide this logo that's just there for reference and I have another logo open and we're just going to take this logo drag it over and you can just resize it however you want alright and then we'll just do a control S to save this I'll leave it open in case we need to change it and we'll just leave it that size currently and then I'm going to come up here and just close this one out for a minute. And we will do the same thing on the right volleyball. Same thing here. It says change right logo here. We're going to open this up. And we'll hide this logo. Come here to this uh, other logo I got called Outlaws. Let's drop it on here. And let's do a control S. And we'll go back and preview the volleyball. So basically it updates the logo is just like that and like I say if you want to resize this and make it smaller I'll just show you real quick if you want to just keep it small you can do that as well if you notice it'll just kind of put it in the center so let's scale it back up save that so basically um, as you can see it was just simple as that as far as changing the text uh, you'll just come up here and double click on the T's here uh, so, for example, let's change this. We'll say Falcons. Let me spell here. And I want to highlight Cougars. And this will be Outlaws. There you go. And then the text color, if you want to change it, since we have red here in these team logos, we'll just make it red as well. Click here on the color. There we go. And then, as far as the text box goes, um, just double click on the um, FX symbol if you want to change the stroke. And so, if we want to go a different color, maybe you want to go something different. And then, to change the color of the actual text box itself, just double click right here in this. Um, bottom right hand corner of the thumbnail and that will open up the color picker and like I say you can change this if you like I'm just kind of showing you real quick you know what you can do with it so I actually prefer it to be black okay and then uh, one other option I've added here as well if for some reason um, let's say you want a different color volleyball so if you open the uh, logo up again the smart object if you notice I included a volleyball color layer here so what you can do is just pick a color background color here do a control s save it and let's go back and if you notice we've made a red volleyball it's up to you if you want a, a solid color volleyball you can do that or you can keep it the normal white volleyball. That is pretty much it, other than um, I will show you a couple things you can do different here as well. Um, so back here on the glow color, if you don't want all this blue, um, you know, you can put different colors back here. It's up to you, as you can see. And then also on the uh, light beams itself, it's in the next folder up. Um, these light flares behind it if you want to you know change the colors of those you can do that as well 
or you can just leave it blue as it is um, just kind of the normal blue stadium look here so that is pretty much it and just remember these do use Photoshop Photoshop smart objects so these do not work in Adobe Elements you will need full version of Photoshop and once again if you have any questions uh, about this design feel free to shoot us an email uh, or you can reach me on Facebook as well Thank you very much and have a great day.